We're about to pass the incoming international train from Vancouver to Seattle. This is the double track section along Golden Gardens and Carkeek Park. Every once in a while you can see some glitches to the picture that I do need to consider putting a super cap across the output of the power regulator. That should get us across those in any dirty spots in the wheels or the track. And the there's a little bit of along the bottom and right side of the screen, you can see a little bit of vignetting. It's a little bit of a out of focus area. That's actually the bottom and right side of the window that the camera points out through. The oh, field of view of the camera is just slightly larger than the actual opening of the window. Now we just came into uh, Delta Yard and in a few minutes on the uh, low line to the left you're going to see the um, Pacific Zip pass by which was a train that the BN set up in the early years to start handling intermodal traffic on an expedited basis. you got to get the Zip up there before it passes by. I'm going to slow down. Yeah. Slow down for a moment so we'll be able to see the zip. You can see up there is a narrow gauge train going over a trestle that I constructed when I was about 13 years old. Now we're coming on an area that I call the index loop, which is uh, where the track curves around on itself near Mount Index, and approaching uh, Sky Comish. You might be able to see the mountain there painted on the backdrop. That's Mount Index. And we'll be doing a a full 180 degree turn as the prototype does through an area of scenery that I just finished a couple of weeks ago. This layout has been under construction for 35 years, but there are a few places that I didn't get to until recently. You can imagine such a thing. There's a section house off to the right that you can't see on the camera, but that road will lead up to the other side. You got a wheel off or something? It's just a little section of 5% grade here. <laughs> The, the RDC from Lifelike is only powered from the front truck. Yes. But so, the entire the entire frame is metal. Yeah. So it's normally good, but when it gets on a grade, that's going to pull weight off the front truck. Yeah. Right. Keep you power from the rear truck. Unfortunately, that's where all the electronics are located.